if you are not good in drawing, that actually doesn't mean anything. You can still be great at Illustrator because there's so many technical things that if you learn and you apply, you can really quickly develop a great skill. The actual most difficult thing, if you are not good at hand drawing, is to come up with an idea. And that's what you see here on my screen. This is, this is a concept of a character, a fisherman, which is probably, at the moment, doesn't look that great, but there is the potential for it to look great. And that's because it already has a character, a personality. It's, it's, um, it's like a caricature of a character, but once you start adding colors, which is still not the final stage, but already starts to look like, oh yeah, that's, that's starting to look great. But the transition from here to here is actually very easy to learn. You have to know a little bit about color theory, how to combine colors together, which I will also talk about a bit in a bit, but it's actually a very systematic thing. So the most important thing is to be able to come up with something like that. But to be honest, in the beginning, every illustrator starts with copying. Everyone who worked at Disney, I met several people, illustrators working at Disney, they all started with copying. You have to copy others to be able to learn or study. Just simply uh, look at things, objects, and start, try to draw them. But once you have to get to the second stage, I said you're still not ready, there is still the detailing part, which can add, an, again, another whole depth to the illustration. And detailing means adding shadows and highlights, as you can see, that's what's being added here, and also the textures and little details, which makes the whole, anime, uh, the whole illustration uh, more interesting to look at and engaging. And here's another quick example, just, just to understand what I'm talking about. When you have a simple object like this, uh, scene here that we have a couple of objects together. This already looks quite nice. It could be in a cartoon or something like that, but very important what colors being used. If I change the colors around, that could be a different style, but it doesn't look as nice. It's, you can feel like things are out of place. And that's not because these are colors are all very similar, but they are in harmony. They are selected accordingly to whatever mood needed to be uh, achieved. But that's again still not the final illustration. This would be a basic we call flat colors or base colors. And on top of this, you would start to add the details. And now I, let me just zoom a little bit closer. So when I turn this on and off, you see what do I add here? I add the shadows, right? So cast shadows are very important because they define depth. That's what makes things look more three-dimensional. So without that, you don't really feel like there is uh, dimensions or depth to the pillow, for example. But once you have the shadows, immediately makes it like an object that you, you would be able to pick up and hold. But shadows are not enough. You also need highlights. See the difference again when I turn on the highlights, immediately it starts to come alive. And all those little highlights here as well, all around the edges, we call uh, rim lights, are also very effective and important to make it more tangible, the whole thing. But that's still not all, because you can also add um, ambient light. So once you have the shadows and highlights all in place, you can still add ambient light, which again adds a whole another dimension to the scene. And that's where the cast shadows appear. You can see all around. And then if I want to make the ambient light even more effective, I could even use a gradient in the background. Can you see? That's again another subtle difference, but adds a whole lot of dimension to the scene. So if I just quickly turn off everything, that was without any of these lights that I used, and this is with all the lights turned on and using the gradient. Okay, so once again, a very simple illustration. If I turn off all the colors, you see it's in illustration, this is actually a very standard, basic couple of objects. It's not nothing complicated compared to some, of it, some other illustrations that I worked on. If I just show you one, where you really have uh, a lot going on. I mean, for presentations, you can have so much objects. This actually is around 11,000 objects. It doesn't look that complicated, but it's actually a lot of details there.